Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Entity XXR, which was just released with the SA Supersport Series DLC. Now, this vehicle is going to cost you $2.3 million um, of your GTA cash. And <laughs> take it from me, it is a very, very steep price for the type of vehicle you'll be getting. Because according to Bruffy, this vehicle is pretty much as shocking as the Taipan around a track coming in 34th I believe off the top of my head I think it's around that area it's nowhere near you know the top spot especially for the price tag so um, straight off the bat very very disappointed with its um, lap time for the price you know I mean the, the sort of lap time it is getting you can now get in a top end sports car on this game you know the, the top end sports cars a smashing the brand new entity XXR supercar. It's not right. It shouldn't be happening. But yeah, anyway, like, I, like I've said in previous videos, I believe supercars are just chucked into this game now to line the pockets of, of Rockstar and take two. Um, but I'm glad that they're also adding cars like the GP200. But I'm here to do a review, an impartial review. So I'm going to be taking this into LS Customs, customizing it, telling you what I think about the customization, the performance and the price tag overall. So we're gonna get this into LS Customs and we're gonna see what sort of customizations we can do. So you go my bros, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the entity XXR is in the supercar category. Now as always guys, we're gonna start this build with 100% body armor, then we're gonna to go to the brakes, we're gonna purchase the race brakes, then we're gonna to go to the bumper, start with the front bumper. We get a good few amount of options. Whether they're gonna actually change the look of the car is another matter, but I say that, and straight away the primary short splitter changes the look of the car, and I actually really like that look. Looks better than the stock look, in my opinion. So then we've got the secondary version of that and the carbon version of that. And then we go to more of a sporty look again when we get the fins on the side and the carbon splitter. Uh, we get the primary version of that, a secondary version of that. And then we've got the highlight splitter canard. So I mean, hmm, that's, that's, that's a bit weird. You know, I, I suppose it would be somebody's taste. But I'm damn sure it's not mine. Um, I'm going to go with a primary short splitter because I think that looks fucking sweet. Then we're going to go to the rear bumper. So we've only got options of a diffuser. So we've got the primary diffuser, uh, the secondary diffuser, and then the highlighted diffuser. Not really sure what's going on with these, man. What the fuck? I've never seen like a highlighted diffuser before. I mean, it's weird. It's, it's a new addition, obviously. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it or not. But I think it looks better stock, you know. I think if we're adding... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks as stock. So I'm going to stay, th stay like that. Then we're going to go to the engine. I'm going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then for the exhausts, can't really see what we've got at the minute. Uh, oh, some like square exhausts. They look a bit weird. Them you can hardly see. That's just a singular big bore. And again, you can hardly see that. I'm just going to go with a singular big bore. I think that looks probably the best. Next, we've got the option for the hood. We've only got three additional options, man. That's pretty piss poor. And... Uh, they're not great options either. What the fuck? Really bad. Really bad options. Fuck me. I think the best one out of that lot is probably... I don't know. Probably the carbon ones. Because then it matches the little scoops we've got at the back. And it ties in quite nicely with the rest of the car. So yeah, I'm going to go with the carbon hood fins. Next we're going to go to the lights, headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Now for the respray. Primary colour. I'm going to go metallic. Man, that lava red looks sexy. Why have I not unlocked that? What the fuck? I don't I don't race enough on this account, man. That's what that is. But that looks awesome. That looks really cool in lava red. I like that. But we're going to find another colour. The dark steel actually looks really sweet as well. So I've just come across this metallic orange, man. That looks fucking pretty cool. So I'm going to go with that. And then for the secondary colour, I'm also going to go into the metallic and purchase orange. Next, we're going to move over to the spoiler. Again, you get the spoiler as stock, so we can remove the wing altogether. And I'm assuming this is controlled by downforce because I can't see that traction bar going up or down. So um, I'm, I'm in favour of removing it. I think it looks a lot better without a spoiler. I think um, the spoiler spoils it a little bit, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I'm going to remove the wing. Next, we've got the suspension. I'm going to get the competition suspension. For the transmission, I'm going to get a race transmission and turbo tuner. Then we're going to move on to the wheels. Um, I actually really like the stock wheels. I think they look pretty cool, man. 
So uh, in that case, I'm not going to change them. I'm just going to go to the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build as always, I'm going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So you go my bros, there is my build on the brand new Entity XXR, which was released with the SA Super Sport Series DLC. Now, overall, I'm actually really digging this car, you know. I think it's better looking than the original Entity, for a start. It is 10 times better looking than the Taipan that we've had in this DLC so far as well. Um, I believe it's quicker around the track than the Taipan. And, uh, yeah other than it being quicker and better looking I'd go if you were to buy a supercar from the first five cars that we've got from this DLC I'd go with the Entity XXR all day long that Taipan is a piece of shit it looks big it looks bulky but this bad boy looks small looks sleek it looks cool man even though it's not got a great time around the track I'm actually digging the look of this car that actually looks really cool especially when you sim sim you know put symbolize it sim make make it a little bit more simplistic try and get my words out trying to say what i mean um like when you put a little bit more of a simpler front bumper on there you remove the spoiler at the back i think it just cleans it up a little bit you know and it looks cool and it, it fucking rocks this orange as well man it looks awesome so i'm overly impressed with the way it looks a little bit disappointed with the customization, but the customization you can do to it, obviously, like I said, with the change of the front bumper and removing the the, the rear wing, um, actually makes it look a lot better. So I'm glad that you can do that. Other than that, you don't really need to have to do much more to it. Um, so, m in my opinion, there's two downsides to this car: the speed around a track, which is piss poor at 34th in the supercar class, which is terrible, and the price tag: 2.3 million dollars. That is, um, that's daylight robbery. That is a ridiculous amount of money to pay for a car which is pretty much dog shit around the track. Because, the, in my opinion, the reason you buy a supercar is because you want it to be quick. You know, they can release, or Rockstar can release all these sports cars, sports classic cars, uh, you know, muscle cars. They can release all these different types of cars into the game. And people are going to buy them because they look the way they look. I like the customization. The reason, well, nine times out of ten, I'd say the reason that people buy a supercar is because they want to go fast. You know, in my opinion, that's the only reason I'd buy a supercar anyway. Um, but because this doesn't compete in the supercar class, it's pretty much pointless purchasing it. That wouldn't even compete in a sports race. You know, the top sports cars in the game. It's fucking silly, really. Especially when you're bringing out brand new supercars. For 2.3 million dollars, man, they've got to be fucking top dog. They've got to be on par with the top top um, cars in the supercar class. You know, they can't be releasing new supercars for that much money and then being nowhere near as good as the old ones. It doesn't make any sense. But um, yeah, that's that's my my opinion on it anyway. Uh, but other than that, other than the performance aspect to it, I'm actually really digging this car. I think it looks really cool. Um, just a bit on the expensive side to have a cool looking car, isn't it? I mean, like I said, definitely buy it if you like the looks of it. If you're buying it for a race, stay well clear of it. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion. So as always guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.